Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair, where my job is to save you money. This morning I'm working on a 2009 Ford E150, 4.6 liter, automatic, two wheel drive, with a code P115E as an Edward, dash zero zero, throttle actuator control throttle body airflow trim at max limit so we're going to check this uh throttle body it could be a, a bad uh throttle body itself however there are some basic that we need to make sure that we rule out uh number one it is to make sure that that throttle body is nice and clean so let's uh find the evidence so we can go ahead and make the recommendation now if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by i appreciate it if you already a subscriber welcome back i hope you like the video and please if you haven't done it already subscribe to the channel like the video comment uh, leave your questions on the comment section i will try to get back to answer those questions as soon as i can other way have a great day and let's get into the video. First thing, we gotta remove the air filter. We gotta throw the bodies right behind. So this is what we're gonna do right here. Let's get it done. So let's take it, the whole thing together. So we're gonna need an eight millimeter socket or wrench, whatever it happens to be. These bolts are the same. No need to worry about it. Then we are going to move it right here. Let's connect this. So here are the connector. So we're gonna disconnect it. The whole thing comes together. So here is the 8 millimeter or flat screwdriver to remove the whole uh, air filter housing. Here is the connector for the mass airflow sensor. So you just uh, depress here and you should be able to um, disconnect it. The next thing we're going to do here, it is it's right there. I'm just trying to get a, a good way to show you guys. Here is a hose. Let me see if I can get it there. There you go. Nice. You see that white tab right there? So you're going to pull it up. So that's the lock. And you can just wiggle that uh, reading tube out of the uh, air filter tube. Give me a second, I need to get uh, my uh, screwdriver here. I need to get a good place to position this camera. Here is the other uh, hose clamp. Here. I'm gonna use this right now. It's good driving. There you go. filthy so that's a good thing for us because if it is filthy we can actually clean it and probably that will solve 
that code. See right there on the bottom. So we got to clean there. Is that built up? Limit the amount of air when the vehicle is at idle. And the computer tried to compensate a little bit. I'm gonna have a gently touch here, make sure we don't have any play there. We don't. Perfect. The next thing that we need to do that is disconnect here. Right there. Now we gotta press here. It comes out. Yeah. Lift. Move it back. The red uh, log. Then you go ahead and depress here. And you should be golden. Now here we have four eight millimeter bolts. They all should be the same length, so we don't have to worry about that. Where's the camera? So far so good. Now for the last two we're gonna use our little impact here. Easy peasy. Now be careful here, wiggle it. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you guys can see here. See? the build up I have to clean it yeah. and I believe that should fix the problem okay we're gonna use a, a, a brake cleaner a throttle body cleaner either way the only thing you have to make sure here when you do this don't hold you throw the body like this because the fluid is gonna go right through the shaft into the electrical part and you're going to damage it okay so when you do this you're gonna you know gentle spray there here's nothing there so it should be fine but also you're gonna use you can put a little bit uh, soak a rack and start cleaning don't put pressure on it because you can damage uh, the gears inside use a thin screwdriver to clean it there both sides and that we can put it back you see the difference right there I have a line there so sometimes that little buildup can create a, a stuck anyhow let me clean it be right back right so he's clean it's a lot better than it was so I'm gonna install everything back and retest it and let you know what happened